Hey, and welcome to another Quantifica video. You've probably heard of a few different moving average types before, but which one is best, and how do we compare them? Let's start with the two most common ones, the simple moving average and the exponential moving average. Is the SMA or EMA better? The simple moving average is what it sounds like. It's simply a moving average of the price in the given window length. If we set a length of 20, the simple moving average is just the average of the last 20 bars at each time point. The exponential moving average aims to improve on the simple moving average by changing the way the average is calculated to make it more reactive to price changes. Unlike the SMA, the EMA doesn't treat all the past time points equally. When it calculates the average, the more recent time points are more important than the older ones. You end up with a moving average that changes more rapidly with price. This lowers the lag of the moving average. Since newer changes have more weight, they affect the average more. We can even create lower lag versions of the EMA. This is called the double EMA. It reacts even faster to price than the regular EMA and significantly faster than the simple moving average. We can take this one step further and create the triple EMA. This adds a third step to the double EMA calculation and reacts to price very fast. We eventually run into a problem with continually creating faster reacting moving averages. Since small recent movements can affect the average now, noise is introduced and we could be capturing unwanted market moves. We can counter this by increasing the length of the moving average. But there is always a trade-off between how reactive your moving average can be and how much lag it has. Different types of moving averages try to make this trade-off as small as possible, but some level of it is inevitable. Is there an even better option than the triple EMA if we want something that reacts quickly but doesn't introduce too much lag? The whole moving average does a good job at balancing both. It uses multiple weighted moving averages to calculate the final result and reacts quickly and smoothly to price. How can we implement these indicators into our strategies? We can use it to identify trends or reversal points in the market by looking at whether price is above or below it. To identify longer term trends, we can increase the length until we get less back and forth crossovers. We can also use any of these moving averages with a moving average cross strategy. We take a longer length and a shorter length moving average and wait until they move up or down under each other to signify a long or short position. You can even mix the types of moving averages in the crossover strategy. You could use a faster reacting moving average like the triple EMA for your shorter length one and a slower one like the SMA for your longer length one. Another use for moving averages is using them as an input to other indicators. They provide a less noisy version of price that you can give to other indicators to filter out false signals. You just have to be careful not to create too much lag when you do this. Since TradingView limits the amount of indicators you can apply to your chart, I created a free TradingView indicator where you can compare all the moving average types we talked about in one indicator so everyone is able to see the different kinds for themselves. In the input section of the indicator, you can see the different types we talked about and it can adjust all the lengths. You can go to the style section of the indicator to see which color corresponds with which moving average and you can enable or disable the visibility for each one. If you just wanted to compare the SMA and HMA, simply uncheck all other types. The link for the indicator is in the description. Now that you understand moving averages, check out my video on the MACD and you'll see another way moving averages can be used for a strategy. You can also get $15 off any TradingView plan if you sign up using the link below. If you're interested in more advanced indicators, check out the Quantifica Patreon, where you can get access to the entire library of all current and future premium Quantifica indicators, link in the description. If you found this video useful, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.